It's old Christopher coming to you with another video here. Uh, this one I'm going to talk a little bit more about this eviction moratorium. You know, I, I, I had a lot of comments and a lot of interest in that last post that I put and a link to that last post I'll put in the comments. So it's really interesting because there's a lot of rules that were put around this. And for me, it's not necessarily about the immediate consequences because, look, there's eviction moratoriums. That what we're seeing in some of our markets is that if you say it's because of COVID, the court's not going to touch it because who's going to enforce this? You can't expect the eviction courts to enforce the compliance of whether you have hardship because of COVID. Now, what, what they'll do after the fact, who knows? But it's not going to change the fact that landlords can't pay their bills that they're not gonna be able to pay their mortgage payments, they're not gonna be able to pay the taxes, they're not gonna upkeep the properties. The banks don't want these properties. The bank is not gonna to wanna to foreclose on a property with a tenant that's not paying that can't be evicted because then there's gonna be liability shifted to the banks. So the banks are gonna just let that property sit there. You could have situations where you have uh, zombie properties where landlords have just stopped. They're not taking care of the properties. They're not paying their payments. They're waiting for them to foreclose, especially a lot of these privately backed mortgages that you're not going to be able to get the moratoriums and, and look it's just forbearance it's not where you don't have to make your mortgage payment unlike the tenants who you can't evict them yeah you're going to try to collect from them but that's going to be practically impossible and then what's going to happen when they go try to get apply for another rental the government's going to have to step in and tell them that that you can't deny somebody for having an eviction filed on their record mark my words on this you're going to see it I can almost guarantee it unless something drastically changes. But the biggest issue that I see with this eviction moratorium is the interference of the government into private contracts. It's unprecedented. The seal has been broken. And I believe we will see this happening more and more. And again, it goes back to what I discussed before my last video. When people cannot pay their mortgage, the bondholders are protected, the mortgage companies are protected with the buybacks. You get all these different people are protected except for the small landlords. So what's going on here? We got to fix this. This is a big issue. And the other big issue is going to be all of these people that are going to be out of housing that have no step down to go to. The Section 8 program, I've had extensive experience with this. The Housing Choice Voucher Program, I guess it's called now, is is almost exclusively run by private entities with government contracts with a flat fee with no incentive for them to perform. So they're very, very, very bureaucratic and understaffed. They do the minimal amount of work so they can get paid. This is a problem because I believe that the, the Housing Choice Voucher Program is going to need an infusion of cash and they're going to have to expand it because there's going to be more people who previously did not have uh, need or did not need housing assistance, they're going to need housing assistance. I think this is a big issue that an, not enough people are talking about because there's a certain level of jobs that this pandemic has disproportionately affected those in the leisure and hospitality business that there is no place for them to go. And I'm not just talking about waitresses and bartenders. I'm talking about everybody in the support, everybody that cooks, everything that leads up to this in restaurants and hotels, the airline industry. There's more people that are going to need housing assistance. And it's not so simple as just going out and getting a job. And I want to know what we're going to do about this because I think it's a big, big issue. And I want to know what you think about this as well because I've been involved in neighborhood civilization in the past recession. It was a big mission of mine. This is going to be a big issue. And I know there are people out there, and I know the people that are out there trying to enact change with the government through legislation to bring more support for landlords, to bring more support for tenants, who are going to be completely out of housing. I think there needs to be more media, more press, more exposure around this issue. So let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you, thanks.